so hello everyone welcome back to the channel and you are listening to go Taya. so guys in the last video we talked about the very basics of perturbation system i hope that is very clear to you and you all are very much known about this perturbation part and you are not scared about perturbation system anymore i am hoping that i'm assuming that right so i try to make it very much clear to you and uh, in this video i'm going to take examples and questions we are go we are going to discuss questions only from now on like till to till three to four videos we are going to take only examples and we'll be uh, we'll be discussing that and the, guys i just love this topic i can tell you how much uh, like as superposition principle is also my favorite topic and this topic also i just love this perturbation system you know this topic is so easy that you can do the questions within minutes and it looks it looks very very scary when you see the statement and it's like that much big but when you solve it when you start solving the concept is very much small and you can easily score four marks right so i think we should not we should not make ourselves late and we should directly rush to our video and uh, let's dive into the video so i'm going to take this example guys this example which is the potential corresponding to an harmonic oscillator is given as this, this potential is given by this like this the potential which is given like this half kx this is n harmonic oscillator so it is sho fine and half kx square so this is original value this is original value plus it is given gamma like gamma x cube it is given gamma x cube and you know that find the energy so it is asked that find the energy correction because of first order perturbation in the ground state so first of all uh, people who are new in this uh, on in this video please it's my humble request to you to go back first and see my previous video on the basics of perturbation system then only you will be able to get it because you know how much difficult this topic looks but it's very easy so you can be scared by the terms fine so first of all it's my humble request to every one of you who is new so just go back and see that lecture and then come back clear so uh, yeah so let's start so it is so it is asked the energy correction so energy correction means del e is asked because of first order perturbation first order perturbation means i will write order above like this in the ground state so guys it is sho so uh, this um, this harmonic oscillator so i told you for oscillator you the ground state is n is equal to 0 the ground state means n is equal to 0 so this over state always comes so you will write like this clear so it the uh, it will become like this psi 0 clear and psi 0 and del h whatever the part out part will be psi 0 and d tau and i told you always 0 0 will come over here and the limits are minus infinity to plus infinity for oscillators the terms are minus infinity to plus infinity always remember that clear so that would be you can see that i have written like this only i have written like this only instead don't write this not you will be confused fine you can write like this also state only and you'll be good to go just put star also over here just put star also clear so but there is no uh, item so even if you don't put the star so that will work clear so you can put sin or del h sin or d tau so that is the formula clear so i hope that is clear to you so let's put the value so uh, i hope uh, most of you i have not uh, taught this thing till now but i will be telling you the ground state wave function for simple harmonic oscillator that would be beta by pi always remember that beta by pi 1 by 4 e raised to power minus beta x square by 2 clear guys remember this is very much important so you all must be knowing the at least the wave function of ground state clear so psi node means the wave function corresponding to ground state so that is beta by pi 1 by 4 e raised to power minus beta x square 2 clear so this thing i told you also when i was teaching that table clear so yeah uh, when i was teaching on an academy so those people can correlate clear so this del h so this del h means so del h means perturb part guys so you all now the real thing comes that what you need to identify so guys will you write v over here basically will you write v over here no you will not write v over here so let's see why i can't write v over here instead of del h because can you see the potential energy for harmonic oscillator that is half kx square 
so but it got perturbed so that means the system got perturbed that means system got deviated and new ener additional energy is there so that means this is the only additional energy that means this is the only perturbed part you will not take original part i told you this is perturbed part so this is original and this is the additional one this is the additional one so that means this is the only perturbed part clear this is the only perturbed part and you will only suppose if in in the previous uh, question if you can correlate when i was talking about 0 to l length box like this fine if i take like this fine 0 to l by 2 and l if the system is getting perturbed like this v so if i write that v is equal to this one uh, n square h square by 8 ml square plus something like that plus uh, v by 2 or like that so that means this is the original one and this is the perturbed part now this is perturbed part now. Clear? So try to uh, identify that which is per perturbed part. So apart from original, whatever thing will be given. So that will be perturbed part. So I hope that thing is clear to you. So now you can recognize that half kx square is the original potential energy. But you never read gamma x cube like the potential energy. Clear? So that means that that part is perturbed. Clear? Although uh, many times these things are given that this is the perturbed part. But you should also be able to rec recognize that like how to recognize this perturbed part. Clear? So can I write instead of delta h can I write gamma x cube? like that gamma x cube because this is original i will not take this part i will take only this part clear so i have taken gamma x cube and again psi note so again psi note means beta by pi 1 by 4 e raised to power minus beta x square by 2 dx clear so uh, i think that thing is clear to you so what i'll do now i will take beta by pi 1 by 4 so let's take uh, the constant things outside so you know that beta and this gamma these all things are constant so let's take them outside so beta by pi 1 by 4 into beta by pi 1 by 4 what it will become L let me write over it so that things get clear to you it is beta by pi 1 by 4 and beta by pi 1 by 4 so it will become beta by pi 1 by 2 because 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, that will become 1 by 2. That's how you do it. 10 is to power 4, 10 is to power 7. So you always add it. 7, 4 plus 7, that becomes 11. This is for bio people who are getting confused. So if base is same, you will add the powers like this. So it will become beta by pi 1 by 2. Clear. So it has become beta by pi 1 by 2. And this gamma. So this gamma is also constant. So it will come outside. So the only thing remaining is this x cube. This e raised to power minus beta x square 2 and this e raised to power minus beta x square 2 and dx. Clear? So these things only come and let's see how we will solve this integration. So for people who have been following me from the very start, so they must be knowing like since the time I was teaching on an academy, so they all must be knowing that how to solve this integration. But for, for the people who are new here, I'll be telling you that how to solve such type of integration. There is some method guys for solving such type of integration and this type of integration usually comes in uh, harmonic oscillators only. You will get to see in harmonic oscillators only. So let's see what is there. So it is beta by pi. So it is 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 and so you will write minus infinity to plus infinity. So this x cube is there. So you will write x cube and then e raised to power minus beta x. So it is given like this guys. e raised to power minus beta x square by 2 and e raised to power minus beta x square by 2. So you know the base is same. So you will add the power. So when you will be adding the power it will become 2 beta x square by 2. When you will be adding them, so it will become 2 beta x square by 2 and 2 into 2 will get cancelled out and it would be e raised to power minus beta x square. This is for bio people who are unable to understand it. Fine, so it will be e raised to power minus beta x square because half half means 1. Clear? So half half means 1 and that I think that thing is clear to you. So now let's come down to the very important thing that how to solve such type of integration. Clear? So it will become like this. So now whenever whenever so just listen to me whenever this type of th thing come plus infinity to minus infinity x raised to power n and e raised to power minus beta x square dx comes whenever such type of things will be there you will solve it like this like put it in, like i is equal to you will write like this n plus 1 by 2 this is gamma guys this is gamma 
n plus one. This is a mathematical solution, guys. I'm telling you. Fine. I I can't derive it. Only mathematical people people can do, or physics people can also do. But let me write over here. So it is like this: n plus one by two and divided by whatever. So it is n whatever. Power x will be having. You will add one to it divided by two, and you will take the gamma. I will tell you the importance of gamma also. So just hold on. Clear. And whatever apart from minus x square, apart from minus x square, whatever value will be there. So that is beta. So you will write beta n plus one by two. So guys, always remember this is the solution of this thing. Clear. So suppose if I take this and always. If 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 always remember if any odd value comes if there is if n is odd if n is odd then i value will always be zero the i value will always be zero clear if n is this one two four six like that then only then only you can solve it then only you can uh, apply this formula otherwise the i will be zero. clear so here i'm telling you one shortcut whenever 3 whenever x suppose uh, in something like that is coming that if the system is put up is something someone is giving that v is equal to half k x square plus gamma x cube plus gamma x 5 clear so now you can see the system is getting perturbed by this odd powers only and in harmonic oscillator if simple harmonic oscillator is given and the power x power are odd perturbed part powers fine in perturbed part the x power are odd always the energy correction value will be zero always remember that whenever odd value will be there you will simply write the energy correction because of the first order energy correction in ground state that would be zero here you will be seeing i told you because then it will come like this here it will be 3 5 or something like that it will become zero automatically clear because you can see when you will be writing x cube like that it was x cube so it came here x cube and it came here x cube and i told you for this any power so any odd power the i this the value will be zero and zero multiplication of this will be zero clear guys remember that suppose if this power if something suppose instead of cube if someone x gamma x4 is given fine then what you will do you will solve it like that only fine then i'm telling you value if half is given if your value suppose comes 1 by half gamma so that value is root pi always this is very important so just focus on it clear and if gamma 3 by 2 comes so you will keep writing so when you uh, minus 3 by 2 so you will write half root pi so you will keep writing minus 1 from that suppose if i have 5 by 2 gamma so you will write 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 and this root pi clear if you have 7 by 2 gamma like that if you have 7 by 2 gamma so you will subtract 1 from this like this so it will become 5 by 2 so you will start writing from 5 by 2 and you will keep on writing till 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 and root pi i hope that thing is clear to you guys so just note it down this is very important and examiner always plays with this thing only this is very very important you can see how much uh, emphasis uh, i'm laying over here clear i'm laying over here so just uh, take care of these things these things are very much important again and again we'll see these things i'll show you in every question we'll see these things and you can see that examiner is only playing with these things so let's see what will happen again to the next uh, to the question clear so guys you know uh, you know this energy correction becomes zero fine although the energy got energy so i solved the question but 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 listen to me if someone is asking that what is the exact energy after perturbation what is the exact energy so you will always write it like this the exact energy will be so exact energy would, would be you can see in the ground state and the first order first order first order so that you will write it like this original one plus the correction one so this is the first order energy correction this is the energy correction right so you will write the first original one so i uh, you know that original one you write like this clear plus this one uh, this one clear uh, this one uh, the energy correction and the energy correction was this one 
सो ऑलवेज एग्जामिनर कैन प्ले लाइक दिस क्लियर गाइज सो यू इफ एग्जैक्ट एनर्जी इज आज एड वॉट इज द एग्जैक्ट एनर्जी सो दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू राइट द ओरिजिनल एनर्जी फाइन ओरिजिनल एनर्जी प्लस वट एवर यू कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम एनर्जी करेक्शन क्लियर वट एवर यू कै इफ एनर्जी करेक्शन इज आज इफ एनर्जी करेक्शन इज आज सो यू विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन टिल दिस पॉइंट ओनली Fine. Although in this question only energy correction is asked, I added it intentionally to tell you to make you understand. Clear? So that's how you will solve this thing. That's how this question will happen. Uh, so, guys, these questions are easy only. So let me just rub it. So I think that's it for this one, guys. And if you have any doubt, please, please, please feel free to use the comment section and tell me if you have any doubt. I'll be surely replying to your doubts and your queries, right? So, guys, if you have uh, also, if you like the lecture, you can press the thumbs up button, right? And you can also uh, tell me your honest feedback in the comment section, and I'll be very happy to see your feedback. Clear? So if you can tell me whether I need any improve. improvement what in whatever thing you want clear whatever thing you have not noticed and also tell me you stay till the end so that i can get to know how many people are following me religiously clear and one more thing you can also follow me on other social media platforms the link will be around here and guys i hope you like the today's lecture and the next lecture will all will also be on this one the previous year question this was the example the, the example which i took the many previous year questions are inspired by this question only clear so this question is very 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 much important clear so in the next coming previous year question you will see that how much important how examiner is molding the question how if in simple harmonic oscillator instead of odd power if even power comes then how you will solve the question so guys uh, so be with me till the end of this quantum and you will be very good to go for the quantum i can assure you that clear so that's it for this one and uh, and i hope uh, you are you all are doing well and that's it for this one and bye bye keep smiling bye